Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. They're, they have no real pension plan. They only were a partner in name. In name. Did I answer your question? No, just stay away. I mean, just stay away. And uh, private equity will, like, private equity guys are on Jason Nagy's back. Uh, I don't mean in a bad way, because they know he's, he's put together two $30, $40 million packages now. That when they're $50 million packages, they'd like to buy them from him. I don't think uh, uh, Jason, correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, I don't think Jason will do that. Because the um, we're buying at five times EBITDA, and they'll give you eight, 10, 12 times. And then they'll flip it at 15, 18 times. Another arbitrage. And I want you to be the end arbitrageur. Arbitrageur. But there's a lot of people around that will pay you for the effort, and they'll, you know, you can double your money. And double your money sounds great. But, I mean, when you can triple or quadruple it, that sounds better. And that's what I want you to do. And you're not really doubling your money because you have no money in the deal. You're doubling the EBITDA that you paid for it. And now you can buy deals at one, two, three times EBITDA, cash flow. It's unbelievable. Even less than one times cash flow. And tomorrow, under this secret veil of no YouTube, I'm going to teach you how to have them pay you to take the business off their hands. Under the, the veil of secrecy, without YouTube watching, to give you the sex, secret fucking sauce. And I'm, this is not a sales pitch thing that, you know, like the guys do. Because there's nothing to sell at the end of my talk tomorrow. But you can. You can have people pay you. And my speciality is mobile home parks. That's where I first, uh, I didn't first discover it there. I first discovered in oil and gas. Where people paid me to take the refineries off their hands. Take their pipelines off their hands. Take their trucking companies off their hands. And I was reluctant. Well, I don't know if I can do that. Uh, I don't know, boss. I don't know. And I, I, I've done it six, eight times. And a couple of you guys have done it. I'm going to teach you how to, you know. Now, when you do a, a, a seller finance, 100%, there has to be some consideration. Almost every country in the free world, a dollar, a euro, a pound has to change hands. Some consideration. And I've seen deals in my long career... They fall out of bed, you go to court, and you lose the deal because there was no fucking consideration. You didn't give the asshole a dollar, or I guess you could give him a penny, but, not, but I, I know a dollar, a euro, a pound. And I've seen deals, you know, torn apart because there was no consideration. They were in a hurry to get the deal done. Be in a hurry, but make sure that at least a dollar changes hands, or a pound, or a euro. I guess you could even do it with a peso or a yen or something, but... Uh, but almost all, we, all places in the world, there has to be some sort of consideration. In other words, some sort of payment. But there are, and especially now in Corona, we can, you know, if, 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 the, if the stars stay juxtaposed right for you kids, I mean, you're going to get some of these assholes to pay you money to take their business off their hands. Legit, not a Persian deal. I mean, legit. Everybody understand backhand? Not a Persian backhand deal, you know? And I mean, then, well, when you're in the environment where they'll pay you to take the business off their hand, as Bruce said, the only other thing I can do is go and do the deal for you. I mean, it's easy peasy. But if you don't ask, guess what? Thank you. Honey, it begins and ends right here. I don't mean to be vulgar, but it begins and ends right here. That's why our relationship, this is the, the basis of our relationship. And when you set the framework that way, guess what? It happens. Not all the time. 
You might get kicked in the balls or slapped in the face or some brother might shoot you, but I mean, if you don't ask, you don't get. If you don't ask, you don't get. And remember, when you kick these old uh, slabby ass rags that you're with now out the door and you're getting a new addition. Okay, now look at me. The only time he ever smiles. When you, <laughs> when you get a new addition, you got to set the parameters up from the beginning. And guess what? You know, you break them in right, as they, uh, you break them in right, as they used to say. Somebody else's hand was up. Yes, sir, in the back. Uh, to target businesses, so you have the letters that you send them, and you call them, and you send them letters. Okay, remember, there's two ways. There's call, email, call, or email, call, email. I like call. So I want to get a hold of them myself. Because now, of course, I'm an experienced guy. I can tell within 30 to 60 seconds if they're for real. Because I just know. I can, I can feel it. The kinds of questions. And once you figure out the kinds of questions are the right kinds of questions they ask, as opposed to how much am I going to get paid, what's the interest rate, what are the terms, those are the wrong questions. That's not a motivated seller. That's not a motivated director. That's not a motivated anything. I am very interested, if I can add value, subject to uh, conflict for the directors. Yes, as we went through the script briefly, yeah, yeah, I'd sell it. I'd like 10 million, or whatever the number. And you say, well, we're paying three, to f three times cash flow. And he'll say, well, what does that equate to? Or what's your cash flow? And he says, well, my after-tax earnings are a million bucks, so that means your uh, free cash flow is about a million and a half. That means we're paying, let's say, two, three, we're paying four and a half million. How long did that take? Eight seconds, 11 seconds? And they either say yes or no. How many calls like that can you make a day? Even as fumbled, fingered, you know, nervous as you are. A lot. Now, does, uh, how, in Arabic, how long does it take to say what I just said in Arabic? Huh? Oh, no, what kind of, whatever foreign languages. Yeah. It doesn't take long. It doesn't. It's like ein zwei drei. I mean, it's easy peasy. Yeah, exactly. Any other questions? Okay, I'll see my 5.30 in my office. See the 6. We're here for dinner like usual. Uh, and, the, um, and I'm just going to tease you a little. Case, case study two. Case study one. Oh, 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 you missed, oh, 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 you missed it. You missed it. I uh, know, I know. That's right. You know, the, uh, during the one day I gave in London, which I thought was going to be my last seminar, but, you know, uh, we went through uh, two case studies. At least a hundred would be an exaggeration. But a bunch of people, and we didn't hand anything out. There was no paperwork. We didn't give anybody anything. We just were there. Uh, then there was no silver, gold, medallion, bullshit, none of that, okay? And uh, not one single person from the one day asked us for the case study. For 27 years, they've been bitching. Show us some case studies. There were about a, a little less than a thousand people in that goddamn room. Now, now I'm going to get some from you too, which I'm not going to respond to. Not one single person, man, woman, or child, black, yellow, purple, followed up to ask for the fucking case study. Hmm? But, they, but they wanted, they, and, and I said, you know, if you're interested in a hard copy, contact our office. Nobody, not one person. That's how serious they are. On that note, Go fuck yourself, YouTube. Thank you. Okay, guys, we'll see you. I'll see you my 530.